Good morning. It's an opportunity and an honor to be with you today. I am Ana Teresa, doctor and mother. And this is my story. My second son was different from the very beginning. A quiet baby. The diagnosis of autism came when he was three years old. The pediatrician detected a development delay in the early signs of the condition. The baby avoided eye contact and any physical touch. He displayed the telltale hand movements, named flapping, and he couldn't speak. Words. I needed the words. I needed him to speak. If only for the fact that speaking would allow him to join a regular school and not be sent to a special institution. But how can you prompt an autistic boy to start talking? Hard work, outstanding and painstaking work, day in, day out, and a great deal of patience and luck. Words. I needed words. Words made into protective laws over the disabled, enforcing schools not only to structure inclusive settings, but also to adapt teaching strategies. Words. I needed words made into scientific research on the causes of autism and maybe to provide a breakthrough in the quest for a cure. Words. I needed words made into prayer, the last resort to change my state of bewilderment, my utter despair, into a clearer mind. And it suddenly dawned on me, words are not enough. They are unworthy and empty, when never used without compassion. My acts should prevail over words. My career ambitions vanished, that is to say, since my first future was at stake, my professional realizations didn't matter anyway. I was committed to a mission of opening the shell inside which he lived, concealed in the deep and dark ocean of an autistic mind. How could any word convey such love? Many other people got into act wholeheartedly to help us face this tough challenge. Physiotherapists, psychologists, lawyers, doctors, teachers, they guided us towards the correct path, even though it seemed too foggy to see the ground. My autistic baby is a brown man now, a college student. He loves mathematics and statistics. He can speak in Portuguese, Italian, and English but he still prefers to stay quiet. He is a man of few words. Thank you. strategies to deal with autistic. Which ones uh, would you uh, say are more important? Uh, assessment. Mm. Uh, 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 we need to uh, find uh, different ways, creative ways of assess uh, his knowledge because uh, he, uh, he have the same content of his peers but how to, uh, to assess if he was a uh, uh, getting it adequately. So uh, the the school and the psychologists uh, they they got in a different way of access yet. Another question? Uh, first, thank you for sharing this beautiful story with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think uh, our country is more prepared now to deal with kids who have special needs? compared to when your son was a baby? Not at all. Uh, uh, schools are very dismissive about uh, uh, children with uh, disabilities, unfortunately. That's why we need the law. And uh, fathers 
should go uh, to lawyers and in fossil schools to accept their children.